Today I'd like you to have one thought from Psalm 122. And uh, here in America we see um, there's an election coming up. Um, we see people having different values uh, than what we have in the church in our Bible-believing faith. Uh, we see in our culture uh, a lot, actually a lot of ungodliness. Uh, we see um, the COVID-19 uh, effects. We see loneliness. Um, we see fear, all uh, these kind of things. Uh, and then we see the church. If you are part of a good church, this is a great gift. And in Psalm 122, it says, um, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Well, unfortunately, not every Christian has this in his heart. Not every Christian has tasted that what, what it is when a lot of different people who would not be getting along in this life are together and they are getting along more they are manifesting the nature of god god's love god's peace god's wisdom this is a gift this is amazing and we have experienced that and seen that for decades in our church and we hope in, and and we know that that it is in all the world where people are gathered in Christ's name. There is the potential to know each other in the spirit. I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. Uh, no, no man after the flesh, but, but we are a new creation in Christ. Yes, while we are in this mortal body, while we have a sin nature, we also can and do Drink, drink the same spirit, have the same heart, understand the same things. Though there is diversity, there is amazing unity on a spiritual level. This is amazing. Labor to enter into that rest. Make the effort to be hearing what the spirit is saying to the church. Uh, the psalm is about Israel. The psalm is about going to Jerusalem. And the psalm is about the joy that the people had when they went up to Jerusalem. And this says, I was glad when they, they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Why am I glad? Because of uh, sitting before God, uh, being humble before God and his people having respect in my heart for what is presented to me in song and message and and partaking we are not the the paradox is we're not a perfect people uh the paradox is that we still have our sin nature our prejudices our foolishness our sin nature our uh, um, our predisposed temperaments, our personality. The paradox is there's a lot of reason to get, to get in a fight at the church or to disagree or to argue or to be angry or upset. But that's not the case when we are worshiping, when we are going to the cross, when we are embracing the, the truth it says our feet have been standing within your gates O Jerusalem so this is about the Jews going to Jerusalem however the parallel is striking because the church is very similar there is another city the city in heaven the city that whose builder and maker is God uh, the city that Abraham looked for in Hebrews 11, the city described in Revelation 21, 20, 21, 22. Um, and yet uh, we are on the earth as the body of Christ and 
and it says here, Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. I, I don't want to go too long here, but simply point out the fact that there was there were 12 tribes. There was a lot of reason. There was civil war in their history. There was a lot of reason for jealousy. There were, and that happened with Ephraim and Judah. Um, there's a lot of distinctions, a lot of different differences, but they were together. They were together. So pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They, may they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Absolutely, this is about Jerusalem, and we pray for the Jerusalem that is. We pray for peace, and we pray for prosperity. But we also know that there is, there is more. There is the body of Christ. There is the reality of the church. There is the uh, desire for the testimony. As I said in the beginning, we are in culture wars. There are different values. There is the world and what they are pushing and where things are going. And then there is the church testimony of righteousness, of life, of love, of unity, and it exists, and we are in it, and we enjoy it. We enjoy righteousness, and we love it. We love it. We make an effort to discern it and to hear it. We rejoice in it. It builds us up in the inner man. It makes our life valuable. It gives us understanding about things and care and kindness, compassion, love, forgiveness, the deepest things in life, connection, um, uh, compassion, I said the word already, but compassion, care, encouragement, love. This is very much needed in our world it seems that the world is hard and there, you know there's a, a lot of turmoil and a lot of uh, struggling but uh, we we are very glad that we have found the reality of jesus in life amen god bless you